Somebody linked this. This is like some incel channel. It's also hilarious. I was looking at this while we were listening to the Andrew Callahan apology. Looks maxing versus niche maxing. Which should be your priority? The dark future. Why 90% of men will be invisible in five years. Giga Chad. Tinder experiment proves how easy it is for top 5% guys. How to calculate your sexual market value. And we have like a pie chart here, like doing the math. Brutal. How attractive do British uni girls rate these six YouTubers? Should we socialize dating to solve inequality? One woman per man. Lads, the actual state mandated girlfriend. Four biggest misconceptions about the black pill. Pretty boys versus chads versus hyper masculine. What do women want? No humans look like any of these three people. Nobody looks like this. The only people who look like this are these three specific men. <laughs> what are we talking about? Guys, do you want to know a secret about women that no one else will tell you? Only I'll tell you this, okay? If you show women a series of pictures of men and ask them which ones they find attractive, the women will find none of them attractive. Women hate looking at pictures of men. And then you can watch live as a guy who looks like a, like, a, a like, wrinkly thumb walks up and says, Hey, looking good today, sweet cheeks. How you doing? And she goes, Oh my God. Holy shit. I'm doing good. How about you? Um, every chick is like this, okay? If you ask them in the abstract which guys they're into, they're not into any of them. Uh, except for like Dingle Cunning Batch or whatever. Uh, yeah, this is why Tinder sucks. Um, but all, all you have to do is like uh, 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 be... They will fall for the most like in inconceivable guys. I don't know. Okay, guys. Top four biggest misconceptions about the black pill or how to ca calculate your SMV. I feel like we should all calculate our SMV. I want to know. No, this is useful. Okay. Seven. Seven. Write this down. Out of ten. That's the rating I gave to the YouTuber Chang Nation based on his face attract- Dog, real? Okay. Attractiveness. And on giving this rating, I'd never received more backlash from angry people in the comments saying my rating was way off. No offense, but personally, I think you are a six at face and you- Wait, they, they think they rated him too high? You are so short makes you a 4.5 in my opinion. Harsh, but these are my opinion. Dude, you are a man, Lurch. You should have gotten a 2.1 out of 10. He's wrong. You're a five. If this guy's a seven, then I'm a nine low. Holy shit, they're actually, they're like, this guy? Uh, average. <laughs> dude's, dude's beautiful, what the f Okay, whatever. Bro, I'm a girl, trust- Remember, okay? Please remember, all right? That this guy's not a girl, by the way. Please remember, um, the entire point of, like, the whole incel communities, whatever, is for a small minority of guys to make a ton of money monopolizing and monetizing the self-hate of really insecure guys okay that's the whole point the whole point is like uh, let let me let me make a bunch of ad revenue donations you know uh course payments whatever explaining to you how you're never going to get laid this could be racism um yeah there is a, there is a pretty like big disposition against asian guys i feel because they're not considered as masculine in like the west but this guy also has like a rock solid jaw. So, I mean, this is not an androgynous face. <laughs> Whatever. Trust me, you're a five. You get the idea. Anyway, what most of the people who wrote these comments likely didn't understand is that there's a big difference between your face rating and your SMV rating. Ah. Your face rating, as it says in its name, is- Okay, hold on. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where's nine and 10? Wait, this is an eight? Where's not? Wait, hold on. How are we mathing this one out? Oh, this is the guy who got busted recently for the um, the stock fraud, the wire fraud, uh, the uh, crypto. There we go. Um, Vsauce. Wait. Okay, I'm being like very subjective here. I feel like the three here is more attractive than the. F Let me minimize chat or something. Hold on. You see, I feel like. I think the three is cuter. The four, the four guy looks dead. I think the three is cuter than the five. Yeah, I he the the four guy's a corpse. He's a zombie. Look at him. The five is yeah. Well, the the hair is keeping the five down for sure. Yeah, two is Vosh. I am two. Yes.
Okay, we bring back chat. Just how attractive your face is. While SMV stands for market value. <laughs> Sorry. Which is your overall score, including all factors of attractiveness. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate both. First of all, interestingly, your face rating is part of and the biggest component of your S. Wait, interesting? It's interesting that how your face looks would be a huge component in how attractive people find- Okay. SMV. Yeah, write this in down. addition to lots of other variables that I'll explain later. Write this down. This is why I believe there's always a lots of confusion. Most people can estimate roughly what their face rating is from comparing themselves to these faces. In contrast, when it comes to SMV- Never forget, by the way. Um, never forget that for a long, long time now, up to this day, there is a huge community of women who would do anything for this man, okay? And when I mean anything, I mean you there there you could not pay prostitutes to do some of this stuff, okay? They would willingly, they would fantasize about doing things that if you propose to a prostitute who you are paying a lot of money and offer to pay more, they would slap you and get their pimp to shoot you. Uh so just please understand, uh if you're a guy and you're at any point in this despairing about your appearance, um, it, 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 women are stupid. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Also, I genuinely think that with, um, with few exceptions, uh, most guys can be pretty attractive with, uh, A, basic hygiene. I'm just rounding the basics here. Basic hygiene, get a good haircut. Like, come on, go, like, just once in your life, go to a nice salon with some, like, gay guys. You just walk in the door and listen to the accents of the guys who are cutting hair. And if they sound like this, then you want to be here and drop a hundred on like a good haircut. Maybe it won't work the first time. You can try again in a new place. Get a good haircut. Okay. Some nice, decent fashion and, you know, a bit of exercise. It's, it's fun, you know, working out's fun and get strong, uh, be healthy. You could live longer. That's good. I feel like if people can keep that shit up, get all that, you know, in the bag, I feel like most guys could be pretty nice looking, you know? I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of unfairness when it comes to this stuff. There are obviously people who are born with just, like, ridiculously good facial genetics, and there are people who are born with not that. But, uh, you can round that out. You really can. It's always worth trying. If for no other reason, because it makes you feel better. That's one of the things women will do that men need to learn to do, okay? Sometimes women will pamper themselves up to look hot as shit just for themselves. Guys don't really do that. Like, sometimes chicks will do some crazy shit with their makeup or their nails that guys don't even like. You think when women put on that crazy fancy makeup, they're doing it for guys? No, they're not. Women know that guys will all say, uh, I like it when girls wear no makeup. And what they actually mean is they like it when girls wear light to medium concealer with some eyeliner. Uh, because they don't recognize the makeup on their faces. Uh, because they're stupid. Um, they're doing it for the other, for the girls! They're doing it so the other girls gas them up. Guys need to do this shit, okay? Guys need to have a bro night where they go out and they all come with their, like, drippiest JoJo outfits and their, their foofiest hair foofs. And they're like, damn, dude, you could, you could thousand pussies right now. You're like, no, man, you could two thousand. And, like, just go back and forth like that. If you can, if you can get that motivator, I feel, you know, I'm just, I just want guys to be happy. I just want you to be happy, okay? Here, moving on. Because there's so many variables, people's estimations are often way off and can be as much as two to three points away from their true mark. So, to eradicate this confusion, let me introduce you to my formula of yeah. how- Yes! Yes! Oh shit, dude! We have a god- <laughs> We have a goddamn square root- We have a weighted total! Yes! We have a- Ah, get my quadratics out here! Yes, it's time! It's time! Yes! <laughs> we have a schizo chart! This is like a WoW DPS sim? Yeah, for real, for real. Everyone get your calculator app out. How to calculate your own SMV. Now, at first glance, I know this chart looks like it may do the opposite of eradicating confusion. No, no, dude. Nah, dude. It's all good. But trust me, the method is simpler than it looks, and there's only a few calculations. The level of detail, though, is quite comprehensive, but it'll be worth it as this will give you the most accurate score, the only score you'll ever need. Can you imagine being a guy and earnestly following this along? Like, finally, finally, I'll figure it out. 
So to quickly explain, we have a bunch of variables of attractiveness at the top of this chart. So face, height, body, money, P length, IQ. <laughs> the scores are filled in, then weightings are applied. Some calculations are performed to give your weighted total then geometrically averaged SMV. Uh -huh. Then finally, at the bottom, two more factors are taken into account, adjusting your original rating to give your final SMV. Okay. So... How do we fill out the charts? I'm ready. Well, you get I'm unironically doing this, by the way, and I need you guys to do it too. And apparently we're grading from one to eight, not one to 10. Okay. Score out of eight for each of the top variables using this mapping. So if you're in the top 1% for anything, you score yourself an eight. How would you- If you're in the top 10%, you get a seven. Top 25, six, and so on. Starting with height, here is the height district. Okay. I'm I'm going along with me. Hold on, wait. Let me let me open my um. Can they Windows got rid of the notes app. Ugh. Okay. Um. Now it has sticky notes. I don't like sticky notes. WordPad. No, I know I can download a million alternatives. They just got rid of the one I used. Okay. I'll take. Okay. So hold on. I have this open. Okay. Notepad. Shut up. What notepad? I don't have notepad. Shut up. Anyway. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I must have gotten rid of it because it's bloatware. I need to get rid of those seven kilobytes of data to optimize my computer speed. Okay, anyway, I'm six foot two. So I'm here? Okay. So what percent what percentile is that? Six two is right here. That's eighty-third per so that's seventeenth top top so top twenty-five? So I'm a six there? I'm a six there. Okay, hold on. Height, six. Okay, I can't see the chart. Oh, can the shorties not see it? Oh, can the little, oh, can the shorties, can't, can't you just crawl underneath my camera window and peep underneath it? <laughs> okay, we, we're all following this along, okay? <laughs> okay, we're all doing this together. <laughs> okay, apparently if you're below five foot six, you just die instantly. <laughs> What's who who made this? This is not true. The average height for men is not 5'11. It's like five. Hold on. Average height male USA. Five foot nine. This is lying. It's the average height is, for America is down here at the 25th. Okay. Also, I like how the chart here is in percentile, but this it like this isn't how it works percentile doesn't go top 1%. It would go 99th percentile, right? As in you're better than 99% of others. So for, it says percentile, but it's just going, okay. All right. Distribution of men between the ages of 18 and 20 in the US. And now here is- Oh, between 18 and, and 30? But he said 18 and 20. Okay, whatever. Oh, 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 we could have just gone a little further. He has it right here. God damn it. Apparently I'm 6.5 actually, which doesn't correspond to the chart. The height converted to ratings chart. As you can see, looking at this one, the height 5'11 is slap bang in the middle. No, okay. not 5'10 or 5'9, because younger guys are slightly taller than the older generation. I myself am 5'10, so I'd get a rating of 4.5. Next up it's is over. body. Now, it was a little tricky to find- I look like this. ...an objective rating system for body because there are lots of different variables that go into what makes a man's body attractive. So in the end, I settled for a combination of body fat percentage and BMI. The Wait, can't we go for another one? Can we do another metric for- <laughs> Reason being is that body fat percentage gives a good indication of how lean a man is, then BMI will give an indication of how bulked out you are given your height. So first, here is the body fat percentage Okay, wow. All right, we're this is really happening here. Okay. Um holy shit. It's chart for two types of tests and two age categories. I've then averaged them into one to ensure we are using the widest amount of data. So this is the row you should be rating yourself on. I've also provided images at the bottom which you can compare yourself to. It Will your face? Okay. Importantly, you should only give yourself the corresponding rating if you are at least equal, if not leaner than the provided image. So, if what? you have the same or greater definition than this guy, this is 
on Learning Economic Salt channel. How are seven, eight any different? Bro, your low T mind can't. Is this derangement? It's psychotic. I'm going to get rid of the crack pipe just so we're, we have less to move around as I inevitably dance around these schizo charts. And you believe your body fat percentage is 9.3% or lower. You score yourself an 8, that puts you in the top 1%. Okay. So, that's just body fat percentage. Uh-huh. Now factoring in- Oh my f***ing god. Okay. BMI too. Because, as you might have been able to predict, using body- <laughs> Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we're, we're, we're working together. It's in-cell horoscopes, but more complicated. Okay, um, what do I weigh? 230 and I'm 6'2", so... Uh, 6, 230. All right, 6, 230. I'm officially obese. Nice. Body fat percentage alone has one major caveat. Uh -huh. Skinny guys. Guys who have low body fat percentages, but at the same time, whose bodies aren't all attractive in the eyes of women. Dog, there are plenty of girls who would go after somebody that's skinny because they like skinny guys. It's just, it's it, like this, this just does not account for the possibility that different people have different preferences because to incels, all women are like automatons who are programmed the exact same. In due to their lack of muscle. And this is reflected in their BMI. Women don't even really care about muscle that much. Guys care about muscle. Am I? Just a quick example. If I were to ask you which man on the screen now has a leaner physique, you'd say the man on the right. But if I were to ask you which one is more attractive in the eyes of women, you'd almost definitely say the man on the left because it really depends. Okay. Of his increased muscle mass. So to factor in BMI, which you can find on this chart by plugging your height and weight, if you're already beneath- Being a really skinny, twinky guy with long hair is the best way to f a woman who's a lesbian 99% of the time. Um, which is, um, which is like a whole archetype that some guys are into. 22% body fat, and your BMI is between 21 and 22. Then subtract half a point from what? your original score. If it's not- What? Uh, okay. 19 to 20, then subtract a full point. If it's 17 to 18, subtract two points. And if it's 16 or less, subtract three points. Now, okay. just to clear up a slight confusion, you might be wondering why people with so-called healthy BMIs are getting points deducted. Well, the reason is because this color scheme is mostly rubbish. See, uh -huh. I fall exactly here on the chart, in the healthy range. This is what I look like year round, and I get cool. Okay. Looks healthy? I, maybe? BMI isn't exactly the most reliable. Just skip to the part where you explain why this is all retarded. I'm not. Wait, I'm not here to debunk the video. I'm here to learn my goddamn SMV. On the slim side occasionally. Meanwhile, my friend Men's Maxing falls over here on the chart. Actually, in the overweight category. But yeah, it's almost like BMI is really not a good- The only thing BMI, like, indicates is your BMI. <laughs> Why does it say 4 foot 12? I don't know, alien spook! That's a great question! Why does this chart have the height 4 foot 12 included here in between 4 foot 11 and 5 foot 1? That's an excellent question! <laughs> Secret height, 4 foot 12 versus 5 foot, yeah. But almost all people would agree his physique is significantly better than mine. So ignore the color scheme, I believe my own grading system is better. Anyway, that's it for body, now moving on to finance. Wait, wait, what's the- hold on, okay. Let me- okay, I'll, I'll do my thing, okay? I hit 30, which is obese, apparently, at 230, um, 6 foot 2, so it's over for me. Um, and as for my body type, um... I don't feel like any of these guys are my body type. I probably have a, I probably, I probably have a, about the muscle of the five, but with more like the fat of the three, but this three looks like he has no muscle. So would that average to four? Should I just, should I just go three? Just to like underrate? Just go four? Just four? I, I, I guess I'll average that four. Okay, four. Yeah, okay. Before my weight loss, I think I would have been closer to like a 2.5, I don't know. There's a huge difference between 6 and 7. Yeah, between 6 and 7, you go from like 
a guy who jogs and eats healthy to, like, a fitness model. But, you know, whatever. Um, we'll just go with four. You misread the chart. You're not a 30. No, uh, 230 pounds right here goes down to six foot two, which is right here. Again, BMI, BMI is dog shit. It's genuinely not um, a good measurement here. Okay, so body four. Okay. Women, due to their lack of weight category and for the color scheme, this will, I believe, my own grading system is better. Anyway, that's it for- Yeah, I'm, I'm five foot 14, that's right. Body, now moving on to finances. For this- Yes, yes, yes! Hey, you guys contributed to my victory in this category. Thank you. We'll be using net worth and yearly income. The data is again taken from 18 to 29 year olds. And for your rating, you should choose whichever you have greater of either two. Now, some of you might point out that for the bottom third- Eight? Finance rating? Can I go to nine? 30% or so of the chart, people's net worths are actually negative. Asking the question, how can this even be possible? One word, debt. Yeah, no shit, what? Okay. <laughs> the equation of net worth is the value of everything you own minus any debts you have. And there's nothing saying this result can't be negative. In fact, for many of you watching, it's likely you've either been to or are currently at university which requires taking out huge loans to finance the endeavor. This is why your net worth might be negative. However, to stop this from- Where's the negative salary section? Is this dude's video for literal children? A, yes. B, do you think a literal child could follow that previous body evaluation chart, man? No shot. I'm skewing the ratings. This is why I'm telling you, you should pick the best out of either of these two. Because many people who went to uni might have negative net worths at the moment, mm -hmm. But their incomes may show the opposite, and it's only a matter of time until they catch up. 90% of the top 1% earners have a degree, uh -huh. while only 40% of the broader population does. Okay, come on. Next, the... we'll be moving on to pea size. Yeah! I... Hell yeah, dog. Penis. Eight. In more ways than one. I know some of you are used to using the imperial system and others metric, so you can find your score here in this chart. Finally, let's take a look at IQ. Oh, Be just... careful not to fly- <laughs> So- Oh! Let- Don't mind me, guys. Allow me to input my IQ sc <laughs> Oh! Oh, an eight? Oh, well, don't- Mmm, thank you! <laughs> oh! Lot of eights in chat. <laughs> IQ, Jesus. How do we even know this? I've had one real IQ test done of myself in my entire life. Um, who, who even gets real IQ tests done anymore? I'm an eight. We're all eights. Everyone is eight. Let's go. What on, the, what on earth is a real IQ test? Like the kind you go to a university for. Uh, my parents had me done when I was like 10. I went to a big uni, big brick building. It was like a three hour thing. Um, yeah, here. My IQ is eight. As in a value of eight. Yeah, you guys all have to be highly rated here. So otherwise, you're, you're besmirching me. ...to yourself here. Recently, I released this poll on the community tab of my channel, and unsurprisingly, way more people over... I'm a trans guy, where do I go on the dick chart? My dick is one inch. No, there's still the inside dick, right? Because the most of the clitoral structure goes in. So you've actually got like a raging nine incher, okay? It's just like, it's, it's just uh, 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 temporarily retreated. ...estimated their score than underestimated. A staggering 14% of people believe they are in the top 1%. <laughs> so, I ask you to be true to yourself, and once you've got this score, you should have ratings for every single variable. And so now we can- Oh shit, okay, alright, add it up everyone if you're following along. So... Put those ratings onto our chart on this line here, and the next step is factoring our weightings. Weightings are given because obviously some factors such as face will affect your SMV a lot more than other factors such as IQ. Okay, we're, we're weighting these. Okay, what do we do for a girl? This is a boy's chart? Get out of here. Go. Shoo. That's true, Kanye. Okay, so weight for face times, uh, times five equals, so that, so you multiply that times five. Notice how none of this is sociability. Yeah, where's the autism scale here? Honestly. Okay, and then body is times three. Finance. Oh, wait, height. 
Wait, when, wait, was I supposed to put down my face? I never put down my face. I, um, I, I started with my height. Hold on, well, guys, we have to rate my face. We'll do a poll. Okay, hold on. Until then. Okay, hold on. I'll go with whatever you guys say. No, the, it's not poll time yet. Okay, whatever. Oh, you guys. Well, I'm doing math over here. As an avowed homosexual, you guys are putting me down for an eight? That's very sweet of you. Um, it, for the sake of fairness here, I'm going to hit, I'm going to put myself down for a, here, I, okay, wait, I want to, like, actually try to round this out here. I'm not going to do an eight. What are the faces? Who here am I, who here am I closest to? I feel like if I said, a, I, I feel like if I said I was a five, I wouldn't be bullshitting myself here. I feel like a five, like, I could, I could get away with that. <laughs> All right, I'm putting down two. You're closest to seven? I don't believe this seven, but I think the six is nice and seven. Oh god, it's so it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Um, seven. I'll just say six, okay? I'm saying six. There, fine. Okay, six times five equals thirty. Okay, we're finishing up. We're finishing up. Okay, so six times five, height times three, body times two, finance and dick times two, and then IQ times one. Sorry, I like making little graphs. It's to the power of the weight, not multiplying. Wait, it's an exponent? And the next step is factoring. Just fa now to factoring. Part, body then want your weighted total. Oh, okay. What the f is the point of factoring an IQ if the face is going to be eight trillion times the? Okay. Well, he gives me a six to the power of five here. Seven, 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 six. I can't do that in my head. Okay, height. Where's my calculator? God damn it. And this even, this can, this can do stuff to the power of stuff, right? Standard calculator, scientific calculator. Okay. Um, 6.5 to the power of, that wasn't it. That wasn't it at all. Which of these buttons, man? I'm low, my, my IQ SMV is lowering rapidly. It's plummeting. 6.5, is it this one? Can I just square it twice? What if I just multiplied it twice. Okay, here we go. To the third power. 274.6. Okay. Editors, make this part interesting. What do I pay you for? Okay. And then body, 4 squared is 16. Finance, 8 squared is 64. Bring the chart back in. Penis. <laughs> Stupid. 64. IQ, 1. 1. Okay. Let's move on, please, God. So stupid. So, which should give you a large number with roughly 7 to 13 zeros. Okay. Wow. All right. Man, I can see why this uh, SMV calculator doesn't have an autism section, because this mother would be maxing that out. All right, yeah, if you don't have a calculator, you're f dumbasses. Okay. 7776 times 274.6 times 16, times 64, times 64, equals one, I'm just gonna round this, because it's very close, okay? 140 billion. Sure. Then finally, you're going to take the 15th root, which was taken from the total weights here, Okay. the big value, which will leave you with your geometrically averaged SMV. If you've done things correctly- What? This. And then, once you've done this, you're going to multiply all of these numbers together for your- How long do you think he spent on this? It's a true believer. Weighted total. Which should give you a large number with roughly 7 to 13 zeros. Then, finally, you're going to take the 15th root, which was taken from the total weights here. Okay, so you take the total weight, which is the added- Right, total weight, 15th root. Okay, so then we- The 15th root- of that, and I now have a number that is 960. Of the big value, which will leave you with your geometrically averaged SMV. If you've- No? Oh wait, I did it wrong, hold on. Sorry. Okay, hold on. That's not right. 140 billion to the, to the root of the 15th. Oh, this isn't it. How do I even choose the- You did it backwards? Shut up. We're almost there. To the one fifteenth, okay. To the one fifteenth power. To the so I can okay, yeah, okay. Thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm, okay. To the 
power of 1 divided by 15 equals... Nope, that's not how order of equations work. Editors, your number's not 15. Isn't it just the weight that you add together? You just add together the weight. 15 is the weight. It's everyone's weight. Everyone's weight is 15. The weight is 15. Shut up. Hold on. One for... This was not my major. Okay. To the power of... Open parentheses, 1 divided by 15, close parentheses. 5.53445. Okay, we've got it. It's 5.5. That's my rating. We done it. We done it. 5.5. We got it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Somehow. If you've done things correctly, you'd see a number between 1 and 8. Anyway. Hi, I beat this guy out. 5.35, loser-ass virgin incel. The reason we did all that multiplying and rooting instead of working out the average the regular way by- How about- Here's what I want him to explain. The reason we did all that multiplying and rooting instead of working out in a gym or going outside or literally anything was- Adding everything together and dividing by the total weight was so that we could get the geometric mean instead of the arithmetic mean. What this basically helps out with is if you're lagging behind in a crucial area uh -huh. but doing good in all the others, your SMV will be lower compared with if you had an even distribution of your ratings. For, <laughs> for example, for the guys shown on the screen now, we'd expect man 1's score to be lower as he is lacking in a crucial area. However, when we calculate their scores using the arithmetic weighted mean, this does not show the difference as they seem to be on the same level. But using the geometric weighted mean, this does show the man who has the fives <laughs> across the board has a better score. And this makes sense from a logical point of view too, as women would be less likely to reject him as he's not being brought down by any one factor. Anyway, the final part of calculating your SMV is factoring in both ethnicity and location. Oh, that's right. We have to factor that in. Hey, how does this um how does this how does this whole thing account for the fact that women will fall for like really disgusting scrungly guys who have no job and smoke a ton of weed but have giant dicks? You know what I mean? You know that meme where it's like if you see a bedroom like this, you're about to get the best dick of your life and it's like a disgusting bedroom. Where does where does that fit in? Like, not even a hot guy or whatever, just like a f You know? <clears throat> the Manosphere is a shit ton of latent racism. Ra racism in incel communities. No way. Because, as controversial as this sounds, it is true that these factors impact how attractive you are perceived in the dating market. That's why it's if the you geometric are white, meme. Add 0 0.5 points to your score. If you are black- Hey, hell yeah. I've got the f white boost. White privilege coming up. Now I'm a six. Uh, uh. Or Latino, your score will remain the same. If you are Indian or Asian, subtract one point from your score. <laughs> As for location, if you are in the West, not in college slash uni, subtract one point from your score. Whoa! Why subtract? Whoa, 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 whoa! Score. If you're in the West at college, add 0 0.5 points. What? If you're in South America, add 0 0.5 points. What? If you are in Southeast Asia, add a point to- What? Oh, oh, is this the idea that, like, feminism makes it hard to get laid in the West, but you could go get, like, a demure Japanese wife? What- wait, what is this? What does it mean? Your school. Anyway, this should leave you with your final result. This is your SMV. It shows, roughly, what your dating value is compared to the other men around you. How could these guys be 7.5 if you have to subtract a whole thing for being in the West? <laughs> we can then backtest your score to our original mapping to show what percentile of men you fall. So if you scored an 8, you are likely in the top 1% of men. Seven oh. Well now, now that I've been given the West D-boost, I'm all the way back down to a regular five, which means that I'm now exactly average. <laughs> Seven means top 10%, six top 25, you get the idea. And to show you how accurate this system is, I'll show you what my SMV is using this formula. Okay. So I'm roughly a six in the face, but- 
I feel like I'm cuter than him. I gave myself... Okay. All right. Probably closer to a 5 than 7. So we'll say 5.5. I'm 5 foot 10, which gives me a height score of 4.5. My body fat percentage is consistent. Holy shit. Wait, didn't this guy earlier say don't trust BMI because people say I'm slim? Meanwhile, he's got like the M&M fit. 12%, which correlates with a 7. However, I am penalized by half a point from having a BMI of 22. Okay. Which means I'm slightly on the slim side, so overall my body is a 6.5. My net worth is just I j Okay, so to, to bring it back to the sociology, please remember that regardless of the intentions behind making this video, this is designed to make lonely men kill themselves. The only value this video contributes as a, is as like a kind of a death cult initiation ritual. This is insanely stupid. I hope I hope it goes without saying to anyone watching, but th this is a th actually psychotic, insane. Uh, the truth is that while um, we definitely have pretty standardized understandings of what conventional attractiveness can look like, facial symmetry, square jaw, blah, blah, blah. Um, or at least we have a good range of ideas for it. Um, people have a very wide range of tastes and preferences, and I swear to God, man, if you look around at, like, people around you, or your coworkers or your classmates, there are plenty of women who are in incomprehensible relationships, okay? There are plenty of women who are going out with guys who are weird, who are unsociable, who aren't that attractive, who are greasy with poor hygiene, which I do not respect, um... There are plenty of chicks going out there with guys who are skinny or who are fat. And the reason for this is because uh, 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 chicks are weird, you know? That's just how it be. That's just how it do. Yeah, exactly. This doesn't... Th listen, this chart, it doesn't have the autism rating scale. It doesn't have the scrungly rating scale. Um, there's nothing women like more than getting pounded into a uh, bedbug-ridden mattress by a guy who hasn't showered in eight days. Uh, but has a nine and a half inch dick, okay? Um, but by by this chart, you know, that's not even a thing. Uh, what if you're so rich you can just, everyone just flocks around you because, you know, you have no, uh, you, you, you can you can make people's dreams come true, you know? What if you're giga chat ripped, you know? What if you're crazy? It does, it's just so much, there's so much variance, you know? Yeah, but just because every movie has some public interest doesn't mean there aren't good and bad movies. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But keep in mind, you're a person, not a movie. Your goal here is not to make it to the top of the IMDb charts. Your goal is to find just a few people who like it. Think of the worst movie you've ever seen. A few people still like that movie. Some people might even consider it their favorite movie. So yes, if your goal is to hit the top of the IMDb charts, then okay, uh, fine. You need to be pretty remarkable, sure. Or at least have a lot of money behind you. Uh, but... Uh, if you're just trying to get uh, fulfilling relationships or just get laid every now and again, uh, you know, even bad movies have fans. Just keep that in mind. Early in the top 10% for 18 to 29 year olds, which gives me a financial score of 7. For P length, I'll take this out as it's private information. However, I will show what my score would be at various sizes so you can see how my score would be affected. This does mean the total weight drops to 13. For IQ, I'm barely outside the top 1% with a score- <laughs> ...of 133. And yes, I did take an official test in London last year. Ah, good. As an adult! I got tested when I was 10. By my parents. <laughs> okay. So, I get a 7.5 for that. Now we raise each of these scores to the power of the ratings giving us these figures. We multiply these together, then take the 13th root as that is our total weight. And this gives me an initial SMV score of 5.726. And as promised, for those that are curious, this is how my score could be affected. Hypothetically, you know. <laughs> Uh... At various P sizes. Here, you can really see what I mean, where the lower your score is in a crucial area, it leads to greater deductions to your SMV as a whole. You can see the gaps getting exponentially bigger the lower your rating is. 
Lastly, when we factor in the final two variables... It doesn't even factor in girth. You know they mostly care about girth, right? Okay. Rating is... Lastly, when we factor in the final two variables, I gain half a point from this and another half point from being at a university campus. This leaves my final SMV as 6.726, which I'm sure many of you watching would agree is quite accurate. So... <laughs> <laughs> That's me, and now it's your turn. If you'd like to see how you yourself stack up in comparison, but don't know how truly attractive your face is, then you can have my guidance by purchasing a completely- No! No way, dude! No! Shot! Oh my god! It's all a money thing. It's just ways of making money off guys who are suicidal. That's it. That's all it ever is. Buy it. I don't want to buy. I know I'm not giving him my money. My hard earned money that I make working hard. <laughs> God. Unbiased and honest face rating for just $5. The link to my Fiverr page will be in the description. There are also higher packages that explain- Oh, dude! Okay, guys. For 25 bucks. All right, this is a deal. For 25 bucks, not only do you get the 100% honest face rating, not only do you get 100% privacy, you also get a full face analysis, flaws outlined, scientific measurements. Oh, but that's not it. You get the how to improve package, hair, beard, posture, style maxing, AKA in human language, clothes, short, mid, long-term goals, before and after rating for the growth, other tips, e.g. hair loss. In why you receive the score you did and how to improve. So for just five bucks, you can work out your SMV to the decimal. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed, and make sure you press a like button on your way- Oh, I'll be sure to. A like button? Um... Sub TRUE! Subtract five points from your SMV if you actually did the calculations necessary to determine your SMV. TRUE! Yes! That is the most accurate addition you could possibly make to this calculation. Oh my god. Mad respect for using this rating system on yourself adds massive credibility to this channel, TBH. Great content. The problem with the body SMV calculation is that it doesn't factor in mostly genetic and skeletal aesthetic factors, i.e. broad sh Guys, at least the people who originally developed phrenology did it for scientific racism. This isn't just scientific racism, it's also a suicidal death cult. Uh, the- you- You've you've taken the original concept and somehow worsened it. You've brought it back to like a worse point somehow than it was. Um, WSR hip to shoulder ratio, chest to hip ratio, a second chest to hip ratio right next to it, and WHR which are the most important factors of male attractiveness after only face height and body fat percentage. You know what? Maybe feminists should be encouraging this because this is the first time ever that a community of men have been socially pushed into uh, uh, obsessing over their looks more than women do. Maybe this is equality, you know? We finally got it. This is TTTT for cis men. Literally! We should stop saying that TTTT is just uh, trans cell shit and start referring to uh, the, the broader incel community as just like cis TTTT. CCCC? CCCC? Yeah. Not many would have the guts to do this. Very logical and probably fairly accurate. The only thing more objective would be to get a thousand women to look you over naked, interview you, and review your finances. <laughs> yes. Submit me to the femoid gauntlet. Observe every inch of my body.
so I may know my number. <laughs> Just like men, women can size up your physical attractiveness in one millisecond. Thankfully, physical attractiveness is only one part of, uh, of attracting women. Uh, oftentimes, it's the less important part. As one of the 14% high IQ subscribers, I need to highlight a fundamental flaw in your math. The final mean does not have the same percentile distribution as the input factors. Oh, f oh God, we're getting a... Here's an actual percentile chart for the final rating. Wait, is this like the dick variable? Oh my God. I still feel like you should factor in personality and status into the equation, even though I know these aren't easy to measure. If you're fun to be around and socially normal, you'll get a boost compared to if you're autistic and annoying to be around, for example. True, except remember, this is the year of autism. So right now, being a normie is actually a detriment. Autism pilling is actually the height of, uh, of, of sexual uh, su success. Yeah. Personality has no value to women for sexual market value. It comes after reaching the threshold needed for dating. Status is already calculated in his money part. Your status is correlated to height, face, physique, income, and IQ. It's impossible to have any status, reputation, or renown outside of these features, I guess. Personality does not matter since there is no such thing as nice. It's a non-suitable trait for males. <laughs> Are these guys okay? No. And you know that. Giga coat BTFO normies from here. Shoulder to waist ratio, body to leg ratio. In my opinion, you don't even have to go very far to know if women slash girls find you attractive. Just crack a bad joke and see how they'll react. If they genuinely laugh, you're attractive. If they don't, the mood gets messed up. They don't find you attractive. Um, women, women can find women are capable of finding things funny from people they don't find hot. Uh, if a joke is funny, they can think it's funny. Uh, it's possible. It's been known to happen. You know, like Danny DeVito. Women love Danny DeVito. Why do I know this? Because I've cracked many bad jokes interacting with girls, and for some ungodly reason, previously be behind my comprehension, it still comes off as funny, even if I know deep within it's really not. Uh-huh. This is the 10. I this guy's a solid 8. Oh, boy. Whoa. You're a weeb, subtract 4. What the f- I don't even know what game this is. The Lucky? The Battle Cats? Gotcha shit. Battle Cat's a good tank game. I don't believe you. I think the race adjustment could be improved. Okay, so full context. This is from a guy with a um, Roman marble statue, it looks like. First of all, adding SMV points for being white only applies to women for whom whiteness is an advantage, specifically Latina slash Asian women. What? Wait, this, even within the context of racism, this doesn't even make sense. There's a huge trope about black women going after white boys. Otherwise, it makes more sense to keep white as neutral, add zero, while subtracting points for less advantageous ethnicities. With the advent of Korean pretty boys like BTS, I'd even argue East Asians have been slowly ascending the SMV ladder past Indians. <laughs> the, the, the racial SMV... Dude, why weren't the... um? scientific racists of the 19th century measuring this. Why did we not have the ability of the races going back? Which upload group does the am sandwich race get? Exactly. With the advent of Korean pretty boys like BTS, I even argue that East Asians have been slowly ascending the SMV ladder past Indians. A ham sandwich race does not stand a chance. <laughs> the age of the ham sandwich race is waning. <laughs> this is a terrible impression. Look, it's recognizable, okay? <laughs> and good. <laughs> You know, Measure Head would not have said the acronym. Yeah, I don't know what BTS stands for. <laughs> That's, is this Nigerian accent? I don't know. I'm, I'm just doing Measure Head. Waffles, you have fleshed out the formula what me and a group of friends were commiserating about in a rundown Chinese restaurant in New York City back in 1999. We knew the variables. In fact, I'd argue there's two key variables missing. Status slash clout 
and neurotypical attractive pro-social behavior, sociability, we couldn't figure out the waiting. It's not perfect, but gosh darn it, this is really close and good for you. Thanks for releasing this dissertation. This, this, this guy's like the fucking, the fucking, the fucking guy from, from Glass Onion with the, 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 the unfinished theorem written on the bar napkin. He's got framed in his house. He watches this video and he's like, by Jove. He's finished it. <laughs> oh my god! Here we go. This guy's uh, self-posting here. Got three point seven because I live in West Outer Union Brown. Damn! It's over. It's over. I've never seen a person who lives in the West and has dark skin have sex. That's never happened. Had to like the video as soon as I saw the weighted calculation table. This is a phenomenal channel, by the way. One way you can tell if you're a five or below. Walk around a mall where there are a lot of women. If they rarely ever make eye contact with you or never smile at you and you feel invisible to them, it means you're simply not attracted to them. These guys are so sad, man. They're all so sad. First of all, who goes to malls? Second of all, um, okay, a lot of people aren't going to believe this because they've watched a lot of movies where people have glow-ups and then a lot of people stare at them in public. But in reality, okay, I grew up in Los Angeles. You could be an actual male model and walk down a mall, and everyone else is just walking past you, because they're doing shit. Like, again, growing up in LA does kind of dis skew this a little bit, because there are actual male models just living their lives there, like a lot of them. Um, but like, yeah, it does not instantly mean that like chicks are going to be going, like, oh my god. Listen, if you want to know an actual like metric for your like how, how over it is, okay, the actual goddamn metric is, uh, Go to a store and shop around a little bit, and when one of the people asks you if they can help you, share two seconds of conversation with them, okay? Just a little talk. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Uh, I don't need any help. Uh, oh, actually, how do you think this looks? Oh, I think it looks pretty good. I like that color. Oh, okay. You know, I, I've been looking for something like this, but I don't know if I want, like, another black t-shirt. So, oh, okay, thank you. That, that, that. Okay? Just do that for a little bit, and you're going to feel like a human being again, okay? Stop watching these goddamn videos. I'd rather disembowel myself, Vosh. I would die internally. Wow, really? Is it that tough? Just that? They walk up to you to ask you if you need. You're not bothering them. They're walking up to you. Yes? Okay. I would feel like I'm bothering them. They walked up to you! Okay. I'm not talking about locking them into a multi-minute conversation. It's just like a second. Trust me. Um, if you're working retail, it does get tiring to ask people if they need any help and get 7,000 people in a row who go, no, thank you. Like, it doesn't, you know, it, it's, a, it's like, oh, yeah, oh, I think this nice. Oh, okay, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye. You have the wrong type of autism for this. This is true. My I autism max in favor of conversations. So I bought, so I bought Wheat Waffles face rating customer review. And I'm four. Added to the fact I'm over 300 pounds at 5'11". This guy got a, a face rating of four while weighing 300? Damn, this guy must have a strong jawbone. Holy shit. Gave me a four after all the calcs. Harsh but definitely helpful since my money, IQ, and P length was decently rated. This lets me know what I've always known. Soon as I lose weight, I'll be where I need to be. Cheers to Black Pill for the reality check. What did that help you with? You would are this let me know what I've already known? You were going to lose weight anyway? What what did you learn from this? What it like the guy was like, hey, you have a nice face. You could do to lose some weight to be more conventionally attractive. Do you think you have to send a dick pic to wheat waffles to prove you're not lying? True. Yeah, yeah. You're like for the full $30 package. Package, you know. He's like, uh, all right, we're gonna give you a full assessment, okay? Uh send me a screenshot of your checking and savings account. And uh let's I get a couple dick pics, you know, get the ruler. Don't press it too far into the fat. I'll know if you're lying. Uh, you know, bring it out. Yeah, cock rating. Mmm. Nice. Thick, solid, tight. Good balls. Nice heft in those. Scrotum. Looking a little dangly, but nice. Those balls be swinging. Haha. <laughs> Love the shape of your head. Keep it up. Uh, I'd give that a 6.5. <laughs> now, now, now for the durability test. <laughs> uh.
would you ever unironically, platonically give a friend a cock rating? Yeah, I've done that before. I mean, I am into guys, so I don't care about looking at dicks, but a couple of friends have asked me before. I had, like, no attraction to them. But yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I could read this all day, man. Brief summary of the current sexual market according to the man's physical attractiveness. Chads, very attractive. They are besieged by women on a regular basis. No more to say. The, 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 the male model walking through the mall with his, his hoplite uh, turtle formation of, of orbiters so that when the women charge at him, they impale themselves upon the spear. <clears throat> Chad lights, attractive. They have to put more effort than the previous ones, but they had some success attracting females in discos, clubs or night bars. Are you f 80 or 8? What? <laughs> 80 or 8? This person's either reminiscing or they are an actual baby and they're like, where do, where do cool guys go out to? Disco's thing is a European way to say club. I have never seen a European say disco to refer to a club. I've never seen that in my life. Maybe that's true, but I've never seen that. I've never seen that before. <clears throat> Approaching girls on the street on dating applications and... On dating applications? You mean apps? What? Okay, this person's like 80. What? Dating application? I thought they meant like a job interview or something. Apps. No one says application to refer to phone programs. High tier, high tier normie. Not so attractive. He got girlfriends or friends with benefits by maximizing his social circle. Some have even had success attracting women in late night bars if they're tall. <laughs> Only if they're tall. Me, me, a high tier normie looming over the girl at the um at the. <laughs> Far. I I <laughs> lean forward, arching over her like a crescent moon, knowing I am getting sloppy toppy tonight. <laughs> Normies average. They have to provide a they have to provide a large amount of money to get girlfriends or partners. This is true. If you're average looking and not a millionaire, it's over. Some even get them through status, talent, or fetishes. This is actually unironically true. Uh, mostly, they are the submissive part of the relationship. Hey, we got any normies, parentheses, average dudes in chat here? Do you feel like, uh, yeah? <clears throat> you're, you're, you're dating a girl off Tinder. You tell her you're, uh, uh, you know, your income, and she's like, oh, so you bought them. And with some luck, they can get low quality friends with benefits, married single mothers, ladies who are over three. Ah, dude, I hate it when I'm looking for friends with benefits and I meet a lady who's 31, which means that they've hit the wall. They're over the wall. They're ugly. They're wrinkly. They're dried up. All 30 plus year old women are disgusting, uh, vile. <laughs> okay. It, allow this to elicit whatever reaction you feel appropriate, but a, uh, a, a, a reminder here that shoe on head is 31 or something. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. <laughs> this, 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 it, old woman, Obasan. You know that anime trope where like they'll have a woman who's over 30 who looks gorgeous, but they'll make fun of her? Who is that? Who was that Egypt bitch from 999? The, like, one who was the mummy but wasn't? You know what I'm talking about? And she was, like, 40? Yeah, 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 yeah. This girl on the right. In this game, they keep making jokes about this girl on the right being old and dried up. And, <laughs> and she looks like this. She's covering her gigantic milkers with a goddamn gold... Mommy? Mommy? Ma yeah, it, but in the game, they're like, um, this is literally her official art, by the way. The main joke they make about her is that she's old and dried up. I don't know what, I don't know what this trope is. I don't understand. I have no idea what we're doing with it. I don't know where we're going. I, I just, I don't understand. Um, <laughs> it's unironically very good character design. It's, it's disgustingly horny, but it, it's good, it's good character design, you know. Um, oh, this lady sucks.
Oh, I mean, the character, she's a morally bad per- Okay, okay, it's no spoilers. I, I didn't realize it was part of that window. Hold on. We're not done with this comment section. I thought I had it opened in a, in a new thingy. Okay. Seven. Nope. Nice try. Ice nine. Yeah, ice nine. Where are her internal organs? Don't worry about it. No, we had to know. Here we go. Yeah, we found it. Low tier normie. Unattractive. Normally, they are involuntarily celebrate or get laid through escort slash hose, but the hoe is censored. I think this guy is 80. With enough money slash status, they can aspire to be beta providers and start a family. Where does their... The, these guys understand that their, their calculations fall to dust in the face of Danny DeVito, right? They know that, right? Crumbles into ash. Actually, though, literally. True cells. Very unattractive. The same as above, except that even a large number of hoes do not accept them with all the money they have nor for beta providers. Sag, what are you doing, man? Nothing, it seems. Oh, we have some likes from the YouTube stalking is fun. Hey, they're commenting. It is a social media site, you know, technically. All right, have we done it? Have we gotten past all of the, um, all of the, all of the very fun stuff here? Oh my God. <sighs> wow, that's crazy. You are taking this too far. Hey. You got it, man. One of them said, I'm a woman who watches your videos. I think I'm the only woman who watches all your videos. I just love the amount of effort and technicality that goes behind his reasonings. WW quantifies the things most guys know or will find out about dating. Seven replies. In your opinion, do you think he's right about most things? I'm also a woman watching his videos, but he forgets about charisma. Some men have it and can be small or ugly. I, what, I like how delusional this model is. That even the kinds of women who would watch this and comment would go, you're failing to factor in personality. The Riz, you know? Because earlier the guys were like, no, nah, Riz doesn't matter, bro. Women will laugh at your jokes if you're hot, and that's it. Oh my god, it's a girl. I'm always saying this. <sighs> it's so good. I'm gonna find one more and then I'm done, I swear to god. Just people correcting the formula down here. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Uh, never mind, maybe. All right. What did we learn today? Uh, hopefully, to believe in ourselves. This is one of the more popular videos of his. Can we watch this? You want to go back in? No. Christ. No. No, that's enough. Jesus. Yes? No, we have to, we have to pace it out, guys. We have to pace. No, we have to pace it out. We have to pace it out. We have to pace it out. Did you see this interesting shot of an anime girl? What? Oh yeah, I saw this. This was pretty f weird. Yeah, man. Um, I heard I heard people talking about like they said it was like gay um spy no um spy ex family or whatever, where it's like two guys taking care of an adopted daughter or whatever. But somebody posted this video and this about this about I, yeah, it's like, wow, that sure is an arched ass. Damn girl, what's up? Oh, it's a literal negative eight-year-old. This literally still an egg and a sperm just sort of floating dissolutely in the air. This shot doesn't happen by accident. Literally just Blu-ray Blu pedo bait right there. Buy the Blu-ray, okay? And this shot gets a slow-mo 300 vroom noise. Insane. Insane. Where'd the mommy go? There we go. There we go. Cleanse. Cleanse your minds. Look at the attractive older woman with the impossibly small waist and giant tits. There we go. Bring it back. Much better. There we go. How does one learn Riz in a non-toxic way? It's, 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 really, it's really just about like feeling comfortable with conveying your interest to people in ways that they find engaging. If you can do that and learn how they feel about it, um, you can work out from there. That's like the, the basic thing, you know? Can we go back to Furry Art or LOL or something? What, you have a pro- Wait, are, is there an issue here? Do we have a problem? What, oh, you want to get away from that? What are you, homo? I guess there are actually a lot of gay people in my chat. Her tits are far too perky for her to be in her 30s. I refuse to believe she's an older woman. Well, there, there are some other anatomical improbabilities at play here. 
For instance, women can't humanly be this hot. She had work done because that's hot. Yeah. You can have perky tits at 30. No, we established this. As soon as you hit 30, you hit the wall and it's over. I genuinely got laid recently because I got really into talking about this certain bit of food history and this dummy thick chick listened to me talk for like an entire 10 minutes. Autism is in. Autism is in. Look. Guys, people are sad and lonely. Everyone, women, men, everyone just wants to have fun and they want to feel like they're being listened to, okay? Like literally everyone. They want the they want to 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 have value added to their life for your presence. Uh and one of the best ways you can do that is by giving people invigorating, stimulating conversation. Uh that's a, a big part of interacting, you know? No, keep the image. I'm looking at the image. You know, as some people have pointed out, you can actually see the reflection of my second monitor up there. So I can just move, is it there? There it is, right? No, 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 it's right there, see? Now I've moved the titties. See, it's that white strip right there. Now the image is on that monitor, okay? I'm taking it away. Um, there we go. Yeah, it's the year of the autist. Okay, we should probably clear through these things. Uh, somebody said there's this Falun Gong video. That's 36 minutes, probably not. You act like most people having dating issues know how to do that. No, it's practice, dumbass. Listen, okay? Listen. Communication is such a difficult skill that Logan Paul's job is as a public entertainer and he literally shit into his hands and ate the shit live on camera with his fucking coffeezilla beef, okay? Um, communication is so difficult that people whose job is to communicate fuck up constantly, all right? The only way to do it is to continue to do it. You need practice, all right? There is no way to just math out like a, 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 a talent or a method or a process that'll just let you skip the, the 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 staircase that you need to climb you can't do that okay it takes effort it will always take effort life is about struggle this is the main thing the fascists um were right about life is lived for struggle okay but not struggle for the race not struggle for the nation or any of that gay bullshit okay the struggle to better yourself it will always be difficult all right so you need to focus on that is conversating with others difficult yes it is it is difficult okay but it is worthwhile nonetheless for the same reason that exercise is necessarily difficult but contributes to your self-betterment okay you need to focus on what matters to you and if it matters to you to get laid or have a relationship or have friends then you need to work on skills that will help you do those things exactly canoe um it's practice, but it's not just practice. Perfect practice makes perfect. You know that old saying, practice makes perfect? Not true. You know, you can play league a million hours and never uh, never, never break into diamond, okay? It's perfect practice makes perfect. Uh, it's, um, it's a matter of understanding what you can do to improve and actively engaging with the systems that allow you to do that. You can't just do stuff over and over. Yes. Please give advice about socializing in college. Do it. That's my advice. Seriously, the, the, look, there are lots of specifics to conversing with other people, but past the specifics, you know, a lot of the stuff you have to figure out contextually. Also, you guys are not the same people as me. I am a different person than the rest of you. You guys could spend your entire lives practicing and you would never talk to other people the way I do because I'm a different person than you. You could be a better communicator than me without ever at any point resembling the methods by which I communicate with others, okay? So there are things you can do. There are you know, tips or, or hints or whatever. But largely, it's about the, um, the, 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 the basic, uh, you know, methods of, of tackling anything that's difficult and worth doing, which is uh, not getting super discouraged. You have to be respectful to yourself and to others. You have to be aware of what you're doing. You have to be, uh, you have to keep your eyes on the prize, uh, but also like learn to sort of work with the situations you're given. Um, I mean, most people tend to make socializing way more difficult and scary than it needs to be. Oh God, yes. People overthink it so much. The main problem, I've said this before, people with low self-esteem and shy people are the worst humans on earth, I swear. The reason for that being any time they make any mistake or think they've made a mistake, they then waste everyone's time, including themselves, with it, you know, perpetual whining um, about how everyone saw them fuck up and how, oh my God, they're so terrible and they're never going to get passes. And, uh, uh, uh. It's, it's infuriating and I hate you. 
Um, it's like it's like it's it's the same reason that you guys aren't allowed to make self-deprecating jokes. I can because I'm very confident. It seriously does not bother me. Uh, you can't because when you dipshits make self-deprecating jokes, all you're doing is dragging everyone else into a position where they have to go, no, 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 you're not like that because they all know that you're a little sad boy suicide case and that you feel terribly about yourself and the self-deprecating jokes are just a way for you to express that because you're worried that the people around you don't think that you know that you suck, okay? It's insecurity, it's stupid, it wastes everyone's time, nobody... The self-deprecating shit, you know? Like you have a like you have a friend who's like insecure about, you know, their 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 appearance or their social ability, and like, man, I just suck at talking to people, and all your friends are like, no, no, you don't I'm never gonna get a girlfriend. No, you will one day. Shut the fuck up. Stop asking your friends to do that for you, okay? Oh my god. Like what? Does that help you? Does it make you feel better? No, it doesn't. People who make self-deprecating jokes, intentionally or otherwise as a way of baiting those around them into giving them like these meaningless, coddly little, oh, it's okay, it's okay. That doesn't make you feel any better. It doesn't. It does not. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. It does not. No, it doesn't. I've known enough of you people. I've seen enough of you people. It doesn't have that effect. Uh, all it does is give you like a, a, a question and answer, you know, a call and response. It's an automatic engagement. It takes no thought from you. And pointedly, I think for a lot of you, it's just a way to vocalize to the people around you that you're aware of the fact that you suck, or at least that you think that you suck. Um, not good. Can you make self-deprecating jokes about things you're outwardly confident about healthily in your opinion? Only if you sincerely believe there is no chance of people reading it as actual self-deprecation. You can tell because here on this stream, I make self-deprecating jokes and none of you bitches race to the chat to tell me that actually I'm better than I think I am. Why? Because you know I'm joking. Because if you were the kind of person who would think, oh my god, Vosh is feeling really down about himself today, are you doing okay, da da da? Well, you probably haven't watched many streams, because that's obviously not the attitude that I carry with me. And the people around me, the people I see socially, the people I hang out with, they know that too. Which means that it doesn't bother them. If it did bother them, I would be able to tell as well, because they would indicate it, by doing that coddly, half-hearted, oh da 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 thing, which, again, doesn't make anyone happy. So don't do that bullshit. And stop being so down on yourself all the time. It's selfish. Seriously. You know, you think your problems are so big. People get down on themselves and the stupidest shit, too. Like, the most objectively unreasonable bullshit a person could possibly get down on themselves over. And I'm not talking, like, super serious stuff, like eating disorders or, like, if you have clinical depression, because, you know, brain chemicals, right? I'm talking about, like, you guys will will have, like, a mildly awkward conversation with a goth barista at Starbucks with nipples that you can see protruding through the apron. You'll, you know, like, she'll be like, um, chatter name ready, and then you'll go up there, and you'll be, she'll be like, here you go, and you'll be like, um, see, see ya, and then you'll scurry out, and you'll spend the rest of your week thinking about that. She's not going to remember. She's got better shit to worry about, like her giant titties hurting her lower back with the weight of how big and milky they are. You don't even factor, you, people, the shy people, the, the insecure, they give themselves so much, like, weight, weighted importance internally on all the little f***-ups they do. People don't care. People don't, people don't pay attention to this stuff. And if they do, so what? You think I've never tripped in public? Who cares? What, a person sees me make a little fool of myself? Who cares? You know, I remember one time I was carrying groceries home and I had to walk up a hill and the groceries were heavy. I didn't think I'd get that much. I overtaxed myself. It must have been about 40 pounds of groceries. Carrying 40 pounds of groceries up an incline over like 15 minutes is actually very tiring, and I'm not in amazing shape. I was gasping for breath. Had to sit down at one point uh, on, on the sidewalk, you know, and a woman drove past me as I sat down. Right as I sat down, she rolled down her uh, driver's side window, and she said, are you okay? Do you need help? Now, obviously, this is mortifying for me. You know, I'm, I'm in my 20s. I, I'm, I'm physically healthy, more or less. Uh, uh, I, I, this is not the attention I'm looking for. Um, but I, you know, trying not to gasp my way through the response was just like, uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, a lot of groceries, big walk, you know. Thank you. No, it's okay. Um, and she, you know, gave me a little shrug and she, she drive off. Um, now, here's the thing, okay? I can tell you this guaranteed. You guys, a lot of you, if that happened to you, you would kill yourselves the moment you would get home. You would, you would storm through your front door and dive for the nearest kitchen knife. The shame you felt, 
would be unbearable. I thought it was funny five seconds after I started walking again. Well, I found it funny after I got home. I mostly felt tiredness while I was walking it up. Uh, you know, that's because there's, there's a lot of, a lot of groceries. Um, the only point I'm trying to get at here is that like nobody's, nobody is, is, is hurt or wounded or negatively affected by you being the kind of person who can laugh off mild inconveniences, especially because oftentimes the insecurity prompts additional negative behavior down the line. If you're the kind of person to feel insecure about that, you might like not want to walk around as much outside or like go uphill or anything. You'd be like, oh, I want to avoid that situation, which can actually compound the issue, which was in my case, the fact that I wasn't a, you know, sterling Olympian athlete. Um, you get it? I'm lost. Was she rude to you? No, I wasn't rude. Gala, you'll have to retype it. I don't see it. What was I saying? I worked in fast food for six years. Unless someone does something super unique, we forget about literally everything right after they leave. We're too busy. Yeah, and you know what? Even if you don't forget, like, what is the negative? Like, what's the... P people get so embarrassed. They make a mistake in front of strangers or whatever. Who the f*** cares? Yeah, I've slipped. I've done a little slips before. People watching. Maybe even cute girls, you know? Whatever. Doesn't hurt me. Well, actually, the slipping did hurt, but the 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 position, the opinions they had on me didn't hurt me. Uh, what I'm basically saying is, be tactically shameless, okay? Um, as long as you're not inconveniencing others. Oh, Galley, I can just I can just check. Hold on. This might be a dumb ask. Do you have advice on how to have more energy day to day? My disability makes it really hard to uh, work out without feeling too sore to go back for days after. It make me despair that I'll never lose weight and get healthier. Well, um, the work that the work that I did to lose weight back when I was focusing more aggressively on my physical therapy was mostly band exercises. There are a couple of critical exercises that you can do with workout bands that really, 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 really help, um, but also have pretty minimal impact on whatever parts of your body, uh, like like in terms of like potential pain, um, uh, you know, that you you have issues with. I recall stuff like that. I think it's a really, really good baseline. Made an appointment for next week. For physical therapy? No. Look, anyway, the, the, the point I'm trying to get at here is that you're never going to have real conversations with people unless you're willing to have a couple of awkward ones, too. All right. Did we get it? Did we do it? Nice. So vitamin D solves all your problems. Oh, I should take my vitamin D. That's right. You take it in the morning or at night? You were clearly never a socially retarded kid, Lamal. Ah! Cold Sun 70. It looks like you've been constructing excuses for yourself. I was the most socially retarded kid. I was flawlessly socially retarded. You couldn't even fathom. You make these excuses, excuses, excuses. Yeah, you, you learn social skills, you know. You, yeah, you're not born with them. I still am socially retarded. Silver cakes, the 10 bucks. Today I learned I have a higher SMV than you, Vosh. You mad? Thanks for the laugh today. Yeah, well, the dick chart maxed out at like, what, six and a half inches there? I, I, I gotta say, it is interesting that that guy's height chart maxed out at six foot six but the dick chart mixed out uh, uh, maxed out at 6.6 6, more or less or 6.7 that was it uh you know i'm just saying there's a bit of variance the dick chart went to eight inches no it didn't it went to 6.7 uh eight was at 6.7 it went to eight like eight was the highest score but 6.7 inches was the the threshold you had to cross Beefless stew with the two bucks. Your chair's SMV is a 1.4 minus the whiteness. I think it has charm. 